Salutations, friends. It's your pal, said Stevie, and it's Mail Call Monday. Got a package to unopen here, uh, but before I get into that, it's all sorts of Monday themes. Uh, it's Mushroom Monday. Got my, this is my favorite Hank. This is my Glow Shroom uh, Forest Hank, available on EDC Roundtable. Uh, it's also uh, my Carta Monday. I'm rocking some uh, janky Jake's uh, micarta uh, single finger nuck. Uh, I think this is butterscotch micarta, uh, done by uh, my pal Jack's Lungs. Uh, Mushroom Monday got my mushroom uh, Zippo riding next to me, and uh, the unboxing knife is going to be uh, for McNeese Magna Cup Monday. Uh, my PM Mac Two. So uh, let's get into this knife right here. As you may have uh, seen by the thumbnail, uh, this is a knife designed by Love Them Knives. Yep. All right, I didn't really slice into this thing. Um, there we go. That's a more like it. Uh, but this is a knife that came by way of uh, the Apex Pass Around Group. There's some stickers in here, and I think maybe I gotta keep one of these bad boys. Uh, this is a sticker that I don't have, so uh, that's cool. But uh, yes, this came uh, via the Apex Pass Around Group. Shout out to the Apex Pass Around Group. Uh, appreciate uh, being able to be a part of that uh, cool Pass Around Group that uh, get to check out some cool knives and tell you folks uh, what I think about them. But uh, here we go. Uh, so, this is LTK's, I think, second design. He did another one with, was it Tucson, maybe? But that was put out as a Tucson. This is actually being put out as a LTK. The uh, OEM on this, I believe, is Wee Knife. And, yeah, so uh, it looks like a standard Wee uh, box inside here. Uh, we have another uh, LTK Knives logo on the pouch. And uh, this is the uh, result. Oh, comes with some extra screws there. I guess that's a nice touch. A uh, wiping cloth. And the knife itself. Uh, this is... Uh, the size that I thought it was going to be. Uh, this is kind of a perfect size here. So there you go. Uh, this is my first impressions on this bad boy. Uh, this is the Maroon Micarta, I believe. Or maybe it's G10. It's G10. There's no way that's Micarta. Uh, but you see their LTK branding on the uh, captured uh, pivots. Um, button lock, flipper, uh, even looks like it's got a, a fuller for deployment. I saw him do a video on this a while back, and I, I didn't pay much attention to it, knowing that it was going to be coming up in the pass-around group, so I don't know a lot about this knife. Um, I'm digging the design, though. Uh, right off the bat, I like the design. Uh, let's get the blade open and see what, uh, how the detent is, being that it's a button lock. Oh, it feels pretty stiff. I want to see if I can flick it. Can I flick it? Yes, I can. Can I flick it? Yes, I can. Okay, so that's a nice... Uh, I don't think it's a clip point. It's more of a, I guess, drop point uh, style blade. I'm really digging the profile of uh, the blade. I believe it's a three and a half inch... Um, I'm going to go off of my gut and say that's right around a three and a half inch blade, maybe even a tad bigger. So compared to my 3.5 uh, McNeese, um, I'm going to say it's somewhere in the ballpark of three and a half inch for sure. And based on the handle size, I'm going to say it's at least 4.17. Uh... If someone wants to look up the specs and tell me if I'm right or wrong, uh, do my job for me, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. Ergo, it's also, it's lighter. 
than it looks. Although there does not appear to be any internal milling in there. Uh, maybe that's because it's G10 uh, on these uh, cutouts on the in for the inlays. I don't know. But it, it feels fair fairly light. Uh, I don't know that my camera is going to pick it up well, but there's all sorts of, uh, this is all micro milled throughout there, including uh, micro milling on the uh, button itself. But nice, uh, I guess, stonewashed uh, finish uh, to the blade as well. And yeah, you got a backspacer with a lanyard post back there. And... Oh, look at that pocket clip. Okay, I do like it when they do that. Uh, they, uh, I like the loop over style pocket clip that can, it is reversible. So you got that little slot there. I imagine that, uh, yeah, you just pop out that screw and put it onto the other side. Is it a titanium pocket clip? Yes, titanium pocket clip. My magnet uh, is not sticking to it. So, all right, uh, button lock uh, mechanism here. Let's see how the drop is. Okay, nice, uh, nice drop there. Uh, we got a flipper tab here. The detent seems uh, pretty good. You can definitely flick it. Uh, can I get it with my thumb? Eh, yeah, I can. It's a little awkward, but you can get it. Uh, then, of course, you can fire it out with just the button only. Um, nice, uh, nice flipper tab to it, for sure. Um, you got a choil here that's not a really usable choil, but I, I guess I can choke up. Uh, you got some jimping on top here, along with some jimping on the scales. So if you're back here, uh, the jimping is good, and if you write up, uh, the jimping is there. It's not real deep jimping, so... I kinda, I'm just sliding around on it, but I feel it, it's good. Uh, ergos, this feels good in hand. I don't really feel the uh, pocket clip at all. Um, it's a little sharp right there. I mean, everything's rounded off and chamfered nicely. However, it does feel, mm, I feel it right there. I wouldn't say it's spicy. Uh, hot spot, but I can feel it for sure. If you're back here, you don't feel it as much, but if I'm riding up into it, uh, definitely feel it. But uh, I would say that the, uh, the ergos are good for sure. I'm, I'm really digging the, uh, um, the ergonomics on it. I have a call coming in, but I don't want to answer it. What else? Yeah. Uh, no, no button stick at all. The button lock is not sticking, and the detent's good. I think it's definitely crisper on the middle finger flick than it is on the uh, flipper tab, but can I fail it? Yes, I can, but I have to try to fail it. I think the detent's dialed in pretty good. So, yeah, uh, good job, love them knives. I don't know what the blade steel is on this. I'm not seeing it. I want to say it's 20 CV, but I don't see it listed on the knife. There's no billboarding on this at all outside of the LTK on the pivot, which is, I think, perfect. It's otherwise sterile knife. So, uh, do I got something that I can cut here? Um, let's see. Uh, here's my daughter's uh, orthodontist appointment uh, notification. Let's see how this cuts. Okay. Well, the initial slice was good. Eh, I don't know where I'm at on the path of travel, so I don't know how many people have... Uh, use this, but yeah, I guess, yeah, it's slicing. I think it could be a hair sharper. Uh, is it cutting my hairs? No, it's not. So maybe a little stroppy strop. 
uh, will uh, help with that. So uh, out of the box, it is not uh, super sharp. Uh, it is centered though, however. So yeah, first impressions are pretty good on this. Um, I don't know what this costs. Hold on. Okay, so I found this on White Mountain Knives, and I said maroon. Um, it's burgundy, so my bad. These are going for $245. So if you use uh, code Stevie10, uh, this would bring it down to $220.50. Is that what it would be? Minus $24.50. So uh, it's an 8 inch overall knife. A 3.5 inch blade. Uh, it does not say the handle length. But I guess that would be about 4.5 inch. Right? It is 20 CV. Listed as the blade steel. Uh, flat grind. HRC is 59 to 61. I think that's standard for Wii. So yeah. There you go, folks. Love them knives, result, button lock. 220 bucks after discounts. I'd say that's on par for what you're getting here. Titanium 20 CV uh, button lock. I really don't have a problem with that price. I think it's done well. Uh, I dig the profile of it. It's a bigger knife. Button lock seems dialed in uh, really well. Um... Yeah, first impressions of this are pretty dang good. I think I would probably like the uh, green better. Uh, but then, you know, I don't think you can pop those out. Uh, I'd like to be able to dye those, actually. I think dyeing them black, having this in a blacked out uh, version would be cool. But, yeah, that's what I got, folks. That's what I got. So... Uh, let me know what you guys think. Oh, also, I was drinking out of my uh, hydro flask. I've been using this a lot, and I, I just shot a video earlier today where I talked about it, too. I don't want to push these, but I'm going to push them a little bit. Uh, these are sold in Maddox Faction's Teespring store. It's a said faction uh, tumbler hydro flask. Uh, works pretty good. It's got a straw. Uh, drinking uh, lots of water as of late. But I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, that's all I got. So uh, shout out once again to the Apex Pass Around group. Uh, shout out to Love Them Knives for uh, passing this knife around. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it's pretty cool though. I, I actually do like this knife. Uh, we'll see if it's something I end up picking up. There's a lot on my reserve list. So, but uh, I would put this on my definitely maybe. I think it's done well. So, I uh, appreciate you folks tuning in. Don't forget to uh, like the video uh, if you haven't. Uh, and then, oh, I'm wearing my epic booyah shirt. This is my, um, that's Cyborg. You know, you tell me what it's from. You tell me. It's from Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go. Anywho. Uh, <laughs> why do I never able... I'm never able to just end the video. I see something and I get distracted by it. But don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Or a thumbs down, I suppose, if you don't like it. Uh, you can subscribe and like these videos or the video that pops up. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. Until the next one, I bid you mofos, wadooses. The